Hi there, how you doing? It's been a bit. This is kind of an interesting angle. I just recently got a very exciting package in the mail. This is actually my first costume of 2023. My first new costume of 2023. This is my Shippuden Hinata Hyuga costume and I am very excited to dive into it. I've never done an unboxing video before or rather an unpacking video, so let's get right into it. This costume was from Mick Costumes. I have purchased from them once before and the Powell costume that I was gifted by my fiance was from Mick Costumes as well. So I am very happy with their work. Before we open everything up, this costume was part of a bundle. I got it on a really good deal and that's why I kind of jumped on the opportunity to get it. So in the bundle, you get your wig, which we will open up and look at. Oh, these are these are these are something different. I will show you in a sec. Shoes. Your headband. And of course the costume itself. Oh my goodness, I am already so excited. Now I took a bit of a leap of faith with this one. In recent years, I no longer know what my size is. Sometimes the costumes I purchase are way too small and other times they're way too large. I figured with Hinata it would be safe if I went on the larger side just because her outfit is rather baggy, so now. The other thing I ordered. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Now, I don't know if you can see these, but these are some hand tattoos. I have a pair of hand mouths already for my Deirdre cosplay, but I figured if I took him to a con or did any other videos, I could just slap some of these on. They were only a couple bucks, so I figured why not. Not sure if it was obvious, but I am not sponsored or affiliated with my costumes at all. I just really like their stuff and I wanted to uh, do an unboxing or an unpacking because I've never done one before. So before we get into actually opening everything, I wanted to do a price breakdown because I got this on a really good deal. For the record, all of the prices are in Canadian. The costume was $31.53. The headband was like five bucks. Which is funny because um, Usually the headbands are cheaper, so that's a little interesting. And it looks like the ones that I've gotten before that were cheaper, so not sure about that. The shoes were $19.18. Now, another thing about this, I haven't pulled them out yet, but I can already see these aren't actually the correct shoes for Hinata. They were the only ones available and the only ones in the bundle, so I figured that I might as well just try try them out and if they don't work for Hinata I have a million other Naruto cosplays I am and plan on doing so I figured why not just grab them and the wig was $16.44 which is great for a wig as I said before these were $2.18 now with purchasing the bundle I actually got a savings of $4.10 the total excluding the tattoos was $68.52 for an entire costume, four components, and presumably high quality. We are going to check that out though. Shipping sucked really bad. Shipping always kills me. It was $42.26. Now that brings our complete total after shipping to $112.96. Now take off the tattoos, that's $110 for a single costume. I think that's really good considering. Let's hop into the actual costume. I love my costumes wigs, so I am very excited. Actually, my Misa's wig was from my costumes. I got that for her for Christmas. I'm getting it stuck in my ring here. 
Now, obviously we're gonna have to style it, but first impressions, it is an absolutely, oh, I got some wig hair in my mouth. Now, first impressions, beautiful color. Hinata's hair really is in between like black, bluey, purple. And I think this, this looks really nice. I'll have to look at it in the light, but you have uh, your blunt bangs. I'm anticipating having to cut the bangs a bit, Oh, there's even the shorter parts in front that are already cut in for you. So that's that's pretty nice. Nice quality wig. I appreciate that. I'm going to get rid of some of this garbage here. Just throw it on the ground. That's how I get rid of garbage. Now for the shoes. I'm anticipating that these aren't... Yeah, they aren't accurate to Hinata's, which are more like, um, more sandaly. I know these are technically sandals, but I don't know what shoes are. I work from home. <laughs> but yeah, these are pretty much your standard Naruto cosplay shoes. Headband. I'm going to open it right here and put it along with my other thousands. The band itself is pretty thin. When I have a bit of extra cash, I'll probably do what I did with Dade's and transfer the plate onto a, um, it's like a sports fitness sweatband that I use for, for him. And they're beautiful, super high quality. So, I mean, if it bugs me enough, I'll probably switch it out, but it is only going around my neck. The moment we've all been waiting for. So you get your hoodie. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, a very nice mesh shirt. Very nice. I love this. I would actually just wear this. This is such nice material. Oh, I'm genuinely surprised by this. This is good too, because I could also use this for dates when I actually do the rest of his costume. <laughs> I only have the cloak right now, boys. I only have the cloak right now. And the pants. These are actually just like my other Hinata pants. So I think we ought to try this on. I will be right back. Well, oops, I did it again. This is a beautiful costume. However, it is far too big for me. I am still an absolute disaster when it comes to trying to figure out my size and stuff. I really should just utilize the custom measurements that certain sites have, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. There's just like a disconnect there. My brain just, just is like, okay, just hit large. It should be safe, but it's beautiful. Like I actually adore this costume. I mean, it's manageable. Luckily her outfit is very baggy on her, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of cute. I'm sure it'll look even cuter once it's all ironed and stuff. Right out of the pack, it's, it's pretty nice and I am very happy with it. With that all said, I think we are going to get started on our wig, makeup, and costume transformation, so stick around. Hi, hello. So initially I was going to include the entire makeup process in this video, however it is proving to be quite long, so I'm going to actually make a full makeup video out of it. I think it turned out pretty good. Just like all my other makeup videos, I will go in depth about my process and talk about some techniques that I used. For reference, the contacts are Katsue Crazy Lens in Gothic White. You have heard me talk about it many times before, but I do not feel comfortable with the mesh lenses, so I found these and I really like how they look. I also did not film the wig styling process because I actually just cut and styled the wig on my head, so it would have been quite awkward to try to film. It was mostly just cutting the bangs and those two little strands of hair in front, so there wasn't really anything special that I did with it other than trim it up a bit and use some hairspray. Wrapping things up here and it's time for the reveal. Okay, this is a really weird angle. I tried to recreate how I did it in my mellow video and I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I might have pushed my tripod back a bit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're just here to see the entire costume on and here it is. I tried my best to get the full 
thing in the shot and you know what it's just not working so now first things first i might have jumped the gun a little bit and saying i was extremely disappointed in the size of the costume because now that it's on i actually really like it i really like the length it is still big but i think it's cute and it's comfy so <laughs> i mean i i guess i guess that's that's always a good thing right so this is the hoodie. It actually has a hood on it and just, you know, your regular costume material, the kind of, um, I don't know what it's called. Typically what you get when you order online, that kind of material. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm not as mad at the headband as I thought I would be. It's still like not great quality, but it's only going around my neck. So it's not like it's going to be rubbing on my forehead or anything. I actually really love this shirt. <laughs> I know I mentioned it before, but I'm gonna just wear this out of cosplay. I just, I love this shirt. So yeah, you got your, uh, your pants. Now, as I first saw, the shoes, in fact, are inaccurate. I'm not even sure if you're gonna be, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you're even gonna be able to see them. Uh, yeah, don't judge my cat socks. I am not going barefoot right now. It's freezing. There's a snowstorm. But... My point being, as I had mentioned, the shoes are not accurate. So if you do get this bundle, know that the shoes are not accurate for Hinata's Shippuden costume. I will probably... <laughs> me falling over again. I will probably use these for Deirara and just alter them because I don't really have any other characters I'd use them for and that's kind of the reason why I got them in the first place. Like, they show online, like, it's it's not accurate, so I knew what I was getting, but yeah, so that's just something to watch out for. Other than that, I am happy with the wig. The bangs came super long, so I cut them and also had to... <laughs> this side came like this, but this side didn't. I had to cut this. So, you know, just a few little things here and there to be mindful of. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but for that price, you can't really beat it. So I think that's everything for me. I will hand you over to Chair Azzy and they can wrap the video up. So there you have it. That was my in-depth review of my Mick Costumes Ship It In Hinata cosplay. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope this maybe helped you make the decision to purchase. If not, there's other options out there, you know? It's really hit or miss on the internet. I personally really like this store. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated with the company in any way. I am just really happy with the quality of their costumes. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like. It helps a lot. And also comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and turn on those notifications if that's something you're into. With that all said, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.